I am Honorable Tukura Grace. I am from a village called Panche in Basa local government of Kogi State. A Basa man, a Basa woman can, re can be rejuvenated culturally. Why? Because we are living in a modern world. Gone are the days, things are done in our own ways. But today, we can be liked by so many countries, by so many nations, as a Basa woman, as a Basa man, culturally. Why? Because the nation, the country itself, give prestige to cultures. And that is what you can see us doing now. We want to re rejuvenate the culture into our young children. Why? Because so many of them didn't know what is done in early 80s, in early 60s. Today, you know, English cultures are taking over everywhere. And that is why we want to preach our cultures to our growing generations. That dialect must not be forgotten. Our culture must not be forgotten. Children that are yet unborn should come and meet it because it is very, very important. Because this is what has been carrying our people along. And you see that scene is very difficult to be found. Yes, my call to the Basa nation is that no one should forsake its culture. Culture is paramount. Whether you are a minister today, you are a president today, you cannot forget where you are coming from. Culture is from the background, where you emanated from. And so for that reason, I beg each and every one of us, the Basa people, to, to stick tight to the culture. My name is Honorable Tani Harahi, member representing Basa State Constituency in the Kogi State House of Assembly. Basa was spread across so many states in Nigeria, Kogi, Kwara, Nigeria, Nasarawa, FCT and other states. Wherever you find us, we are very peace-loving people, very articulate, well-organized people, very sincere human beings. By the grace of God, that is who Basa people are, wherever you find them. By the grace of God, I'm not even supposed to be here today. I have state functions in Kogi State. But uh, this event to me very, very, very key to me. That is why I have to skip the meetings I have in the office today. I love this because with the influx of uh, this European culture to our Cultural society, interference. to our society, it has eroded so many things the Basakum people used to be in terms of culture. But by the grace of God, I appreciate our women today for taking this bold step to begin to revive some things that is almost going into extinction as far as the Basakomu race is concerned. So I appreciate what they do too. That's why I said it's necessary for me to be here so that we we'll express this thing and encourage them so that our men too and other groups will also revive whatever is almost dying. Yes, that's why I'm happy to be here. My name is Honorable Shikawa. I'll start from the months. I want to advise them to uh, train their children in the way they understand and the way to be the greater children in the future. One. Secondly, there are so many things today children are facing, they face it to their parents because they did train very well how they should train so they should train them it is not only to train the child it's to advise them and to make sure that they will take the step of their parent for them to be great in future in future generation future to come okay and for the singles for the singles now for the singles we advise them particularly some, maybe they know grown up with their parents, their moms. When you grown up, I think uh, uh, Shosha, Shosha social vices. vices did today give people understanding. When you are going to your school, 
First of all, to dedicate themselves to God Almighty. You know, first of all, serving God is number one. With the serving God, you get more wisdom, more understanding how to move your life. Not to be fearless, to give people uh, boys chance. You know, nowadays, we, we see a 15 years old ch uh, ch uh, ch uh, child, you pregnant, or no much about much more than a uh, 40 years old woman. You understand? So, you know, they have to display themselves and how to move and how to interact with people, especially in social media. Social media have already corrupt many people. That is why, first of all, I said, first of all, serving God is number one. Dedicate themselves to God Almighty. Then they will get more wisdom and God will give them the direct from how to live their life, not to corrupt their life in such a manner that they will know they will look down on them in anywhere they go. They talk of dressing, they have to dress properly. When someone saw you with your good dressing, to admire that person, ah, this lady, she dress very okay. So that is the advice I'm giving them. They will pray more for God to give them more wisdom, more long life, and more understanding. I am by name Lashe Adaba from Abaji. But the culture is enormous. We are not having only one culture. Our cultures differ. In time of burial, in time of marriage, in time of other occasions, maybe ceremonies like chieftaincy, we have different ways of presenting, of our, presenting our culture. Other cultures are actually influenced by our culture, particularly in language speaking, dancing, and so on. We're telling them that right now they should forget about not talking, I mean, talking about other people's language. They should begin to build themselves with the language that they are born. The same father, the same mother. Speak Basa language. When you look at Basa people today, normally before we used to put marks, but today there are no marks. So the areas Basa are losing now, their culture is language and then the way of traditional aspect. So we are telling them to speak language. Two, to begin to know that the language of Basa people or the Basa as a person is not is created by God. No matter what influence they get from another place, it cannot be better than their, their own culture. My name is Dr. Shavado. First and foremost, Basa man, literally, is an accommodating human being whether he knows you or not. And uh, when he go, and uh, the Basa pe pe person originally is a farmer. And when you say farmer, farmer can be in every aspect of farming. Because when you say farmer, you may, somebody who can not only just say a crop farm, but you have the fisherman, it's a farmer. The cattle rearer or the animal thing they are all uh, farmers. Even somebody that keeps snake is a farmer. Anybody that uh, you know keeps bees is a, to produce honey is a farmer. So naturally, the Basa man is a farmer uh, from the beginning. And those that are actually concentrated on crop, if you are passing by, you see a Basa man on the farm, whether he knows you or not. In those days of uh, bicycle or trekking, the man will call, ah, come and take. So that's what I'm saying. The Basama is accommodating, very humane, uh, you know, in the life. The influence on foreign culture. There are cultures of the foreign that are positive and there are others that are negative. So when you are saying the influence of the foreign culture, is it negative, negative, the positive? The negative one. The negative. Well, uh, well, the essence of this program is part of those things that uh, they want to, you know, infuse in the Basa youth. And uh, actually, when I saw this uh, organization, like the Basa moms and singles, actually I was happy, if, you know, because when there's that mingling between the singles and the moms, the moms will be able to bring them up very properly. 
they were able to advise them properly. And because of that, coming together, and that's really why I left what I've been doing, I was supposed to be doing today to come to attend this occasion. I have had us to sit with some of the officials and uh, you know to have calls to discuss some things before uh, this occasion. And uh, because of that, I felt I should be here to maybe contribute my own quarter, on especially on the upgrade bringing of our children. So it's very interesting. Uh, that's the only way they can, you know, bring up these people coming, uh, you know, behind the moms. You know, they, everything about person, human being, starts from the mother. The influence of anybody starts unless if she's not a good mother. Otherwise, uh, the man, the primary, the kindergarten, nursery, primary, and secondary start from the mother. And because of that. Coming now with the singles, and if, if there is going to be any negative influence from the foreign culture, would they mingling with the mothers who have seen yesterday? I think they'll be able to advise the singles very well. Yeah, my name is Dr. Tukura Peter. Thank you very much. Just as the name implies, Basa moms and singles. This shows to show that uh, it is further parenting. Uh, the moms are the mothers to these singles. And now that they are having an association, that this is a common ground where both of them will now come to rub mine and begin to share ideas in way of also modeling them into the bigger society. One, to also get married of their own loved one. Then two, of how to also parent their own future children if they are, uh, they are married. Then three, it is also a, an avenue to ensure the unity of purpose of the Basa nation generally, that is as far as Nigerian is concerned. So I want to encourage them to keep that unity. Uh, it's a unifying fact, uh, 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 forum where they have come together and uh, with that common ideas and experiences are going to be shared in terms of different moms sharing their experiences, different singles also sharing their experiences. So this will urge all of them to take a ball, borrow a leaf from the bad aspect and to the positive aspect. Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, Madam Deborah Heidi. I'm the coordinator of Basamons and Singles. Pray this group to bring our Basamons and the Singles together so that there will be unity between us. And we want the federal government to recognize us that the Basamons are Singles exist in this country. At least with what we've done today, thank God the Liberty TV is there, the Bassa TV is there to capture everything. So that even the junior ones, the small small children that are coming up, they will watch it and they will start learning this. My advice is that both the mothers and the singles, they should try by all means to, 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 to teach the younger ones the tribe Bassa. If you notice these days, our young ladies, our young mothers cannot even speak that Basa. The only thing they know is Okubijin that is all. Our children don't know how to speak Basa. Some of them, if you ask them to speak, they will say, I don't understand that language. So with this forum, with this association, I believe all this nonsense will come to an end. I am Yusuf. I am from Yesara State. I used to work with the very capital of the authority of the city without giving the service. So that is a short report. Plus, a set of uh, people that believe in peace. Anywhere you go, the good thing about us is that you will never find any of us above any kind of crime. So that as far as I'm concerned, Basa has a business that is a family holding their culture every day. As far as I'm concerned, any tribe that tends to neglect its uh, culture, its identity, is about to go, is almost always is eroded. And therefore, I am glad to be here to see that what are we and singles I do here is to try to rejuvenate or make kind of a big up what is hidden 
Uh, what is about uh, is I mean, is thinking about the uh, the person nature, and I'm so happy that uh, bring back whatever we thought we are losing. We gradually we are going to get back where we originally concerned.